Well, it's a glorious morning, absolutely beautiful. Pie's just uh, there doing a little bit of gardening. Yeah, she does like her garden, she really does. The swede is growing really well, that's it just there. And just to the side of it, just on its own there, is the tomato plant, so we're hoping that's going to uh, produce as well. Fantastic stuff, ain't it? Now today guys, we're off to uh, Chiang Rai City, we've got to go and get the bike service, it'll be its first service. Yet yeah, that thousand kilometres came around all too fast. Somebody actually asked me the other day about my camera and how I mount it to the helmet, so I'll show you that as well. Now the helmets that we use are modular helmets. In other words, uh, if you pull down the lever there, you can lift up the whole of the face. So I couldn't put the helmet there, I couldn't mount it right on the front uh, like a lot of motorcyclists do. So what I did was I just mounted it on the side here and then just uh, constructed a series of arms that you can buy so they move around and then on finally on the top here I put in a cage that holds the, um, the GoPro camera and that's it, it's as simple as that. Uh, regarding the mic, I take the mic and just place it inside the helmet, it's as simple as that, it works a treat. I do have to turn the decibels down on the uh, Tascam down to 25, otherwise it's just too buzzy. Um, all you do is pick up uh, an awful lot of um, uh, vibration, so it's, it's no good when you're on the move. It's exactly the same I found in the car as well, or, or rather the truck. Right now it's on about 63 decibels, but if I put it on um, the same in the truck or on the, on the motorbike, all you do is pick up all the vibration, you can't hear anything. So there's a quick tip for you. Well, it's time for Pi and I to start getting ourselves ready, and uh, we've got all the kit laid out. It's just a case of getting dressed and uh, getting out there.
just such a lovely journey coming down if you go through the back roads the only trouble is of course with uh, some of the areas the roads are not in really great condition which is a bit of a shame it is stunningly beautiful back there it's much better than you know hitting the main highway and just going all the way to Chiang Rai it's uh, nowhere near as interesting it's lovely in the back roads so here we are back at Kawasaki going to um, get that done first it'll take about 30 minutes no more Pine I heard that there's a motorcycle um, accessory shop here in uh, the city so what we're going to do we're going to try and hunt that out and see if we can't get pie some boots well what we're trying to do now guys is find a tuk-tuk sometimes it's dead easy and sometimes it's really really difficult what we've got to try and do now is cross this main road somehow it won't be too bad just right now because there's not too much traffic but as it gets busier yeah it's going to get a lot more difficult gives you a different uh, perspective of the city though and the main highway running in and out of it like I said it's not a bad place at all you can't complain ah there's a tuk tuk just there look coming up let's see if he's got anybody in there and if not we'll uh, we'll hire him Well, we're out of the uh, Kawasaki dealership. Bike's been serviced, and uh, yep, she's uh, in tip-top shape. Needs a bit of a clean again, but that's uh, the joys of biking, I'm afraid. It always needs cleaning. Now, at this point, um, I decided to pull over the side of the road and just go for a wander because it's so beautiful here. Now, this is actually the back end of Meijan. It's really, really nice. It's such a pretty area. Again, you know, there's so much uh, greenery here. So much of it is underdeveloped. And that's just the way I like it. I do like it like this. As you can see, they're going to be putting in roads of some kind here. But look just how green it is. It's just so beautiful. And of course, if you go the other side, across the uh, road, you've got uh, all the mountains. I actually prefer taking this route to go to and from Chiang Rai City. Um, yeah, it does take you a little bit longer because you've got to go through all the country roads. But, uh, you know, when you're riding a bike, of course, that's the whole point of it. You know, twists and turns, you just love it. But just look at the scenery here. It's just absolutely stunning. You do have to be careful of the traffic, though. 
like I said before and I'll say it again such a beautiful country okay well that's it guys that's uh, a little taste of uh, Medan now here's a quick question for you guys what is it no any ideas I'll show you fan made it and basically it's a gun <laughs> Yeah, it may not look like a gun, but it, it is, and uh, it's a corn gun, or you could even put small stones in it, but um, Pi will show you how it, how it works. You just basically get a bit of corn, put it in there, drop it down into the uh, little plastic bit there, which is an old balloon, by the way. Yeah, balloon. balloon, yeah. <laughs> and then just pull it like that, and fire. It does work. Yeah. It does work a treat. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. That's uh, Fam's new homemade gun. Good, isn't it, though? <laughs> it does come up with all sorts of stuff. Well, that was it. The bike service today, and we did a bit of shopping in Central. Still couldn't find any boots for pie. Um, I think it's going to be a case of just keep going back to uh, Maysay, where we know there's a shop and just wait until they get her sizing or order her sizing. So we'll have to uh, do that, I think. Whatever you guys do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. Don't forget, please subscribe, share and like. It does make a huge difference. And Pi and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys. See you tomorrow.